Uh, well, if you were hearing yesterday, you know we had the most bizarre chat with Wayne Brown, who having teed up an interview, he kind of then said, I don't want to do it. He actually came back, and I'm just going to say that, he came back by text and I was a little bit angry, I think. A little bit angry to be in my producer, accuse me of saying things about him. And I thought there and I thought, how have I portrayed this story? That it's now just down to Afiso Collins and Wayne Brown. And a whole lot of people were sending me texts yesterday, why don't you speak to another candidate who's still there, Craig Lord? And you know what? After the very unimpressive performance of Wayne Brown, I thought I probably should. So joining us on the line now is Auckland mayoral candidate Craig Lord. Craig, welcome to the program. Nice to have you on the platform. Good morning. Yeah, morning, Sean. I hope you've learnt your lesson about playing the fire alarms. Uh, it wasn't me. We don't know quite what it was. Um, look, Craig, first thing, probably the reason I don't talk to you or take you seriously is you have run for mayor quite a few times, haven't you? No. See, and this is the problem. This is, this is where I actually get a little bit pissed off. I've run once before in 2019, yeah. and I got third. And the mainstream media, which, which you're, I don't know, you, you, you're no longer part of, but you were part of that legacy, yeah. the mainstream media, uh, I've even had journalists say, I didn't know who you were. Well, hang on, mate. I got third in 2019. Where, where have you been? And yeah. so... Uh, how how, how distant documentary. a third, Craig? Oh, massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, so um, massively behind than... the other two people. Yep, uh, absolutely. Okay. So how many votes and, and did I'm you not, get? I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not ashamed to say that. I got more than Chloe. I got just... No, no, no. How many votes did you get? I think it was 32 in the end. 32 votes? 32,000. Oh, 32,000. That's a bit better than 32. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, and that's, that's not to be sneezed at, Craig. Well, Craig, okay. No. And, and because you're not mainstream, because that's the way we operate, and because you don't have people that know other people who know other people, it's hard to get profile and stuff and you, you don't run a pub and tell people, ask people if they're virgins or not. So who the hell is Craig Lord? And have you ever won an election for anything before in your life? How far back do you want to go? Who is Craig Lord? Well, um, well, what is Craig, well let, let's, let's, I'll keep it simple for you. I'll ask specific questions that you can ask, answer specifically. What do you do for a job, Craig? I'm currently self-employed. I've had my own little business for 20 years doing uh, freelance media uh, with events and motorsport. Okay, so, uh, well, events and motor. So, what you organise the PR for them? Your public relations. Uh, a little bit. I, I help. I, I do a lot of emceeing. I've been a motorsport commentator for fifteen years uh, with V Eight Supercars. Um, yeah. I also had a stint as a producer and host at Radio Sport and ZB. Been a been a sports journo and, and presenter at Sky. Um, yeah, and and basically, I just do all sorts of different. Okay. Have different you ever held opinions. public office before? No, no. Ever tried to hold public office apart from the mayoral bid last time? Ever nope. stood for council or anything? So no history of public service. Nope. Perfect, isn't it? I'd absolutely love more people who are ex-tradies, which is what I am. I'm, I'm an ex-engineer. I'd love more grassroots blue-collar people to be putting their hand up rather than the people who have had their nose in the trough year after year. Okay, Craig, it. so you've never held public office. Um, you are a, a blue-collar an engineer. That's like motor vehicle engineer? No, no, <laughs> no, actually. I was Sound engineer? Well, no, maintenance and diagnostics, hydraulics and pneumatic. Right, stuff. That makes stuff do stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get you. So, okay. so basically, I, basically I fixed the machines that made things. Okay, Craig, how old are you? 50. 50? Okay, that's not a bad age. You're still a young one. Um, 50 years old. Okay, you're married with kids? I've been with my wife for 32 years, married 26, daughter's 24, son is 21 next month. Okay, all right. Have you ever been or are you currently a member of a political party? No. No, what would you, how would you describe your politics in general terms if someone was looking from the outside? If I was to match it up to what I see in the central side of things, I would call myself a centre-right. Okay. I generally tend to lean towards what National and ACT do um, or, or their ideals. Um, which one I vote for depends on who and what at the time. Um, but I, I, I mean, I, look, I voted Labour once. I might have been 18 or 19, but I grew up and learned my mistakes. <laughs> okay. All right. Who do you have backing you, if anyone? 
as in a team? Yeah, well, as in a team, as in maybe a funder or, or, or someone who's throwing you some money? You got a well, sugar daddy? You got are... a sugar daddy or mummy somewhere behind the scenes or not? <laughs> no, I don't have one of the big giant sugar daddies. There's been lots of promises, um, as I've heard happens a lot in campaigns, and it doesn't show up. Um, but I've just had a lot of public support, people dropping in into the donation box, and and a couple of business friends who have thrown in a little bit to to um, help me along and get it going. So it's it's not really a giant corporation or some property developer or anyone with uh, the huge deep pockets that's, that's just throwing dollar after dollar at me now. All right, Craig. Um, do you think you've had a fair crack from the news media in your campaign? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not gonna moan about it. Um, a lot of the other candidates do. They spend more time moaning about that than they do sharing their policies, but I certainly haven't. Uh, it's, it is frustrating. Um, and, in fact, it was only the only one who's really mentioned it as Mark Jennings. Uh, surprisingly, he did a story, and, and he, the headline was Craig Lord, the man ignored. Oh, that's Newsroom, and, isn't it? And they're pretty yeah, lefty. Newsroom. They're pretty white, Newsroom. They are. And, it was, and I was surprised to read it, but he actually gave the media a serve for, for um, uh, not covering uh, what my policies have been and, and my visions and stuff because he, he actually liked them. And, and it, was, it was good to read. Yeah. Now, Craig, someone's just sent me a text. It says, Craig Lord got 8% of the last election. Remember, only 45% of eligible voters turned out. I'm just wondering if you got 8% or 45% or actually 8%. Oh, I can't remember whatever, okay. whatever it was. Oh, yeah, not too interested yeah. in the numbers. Where have you been polling in current ah, polls for yeah. this election? Yeah. See, that's, that's the bit that is also a bit frustrating. See, the last official poll was back about six, seven well, weeks ago. Well, there are ago. no official polls. They're just polls. That's right, because they were, it was only 500 people and 45% yeah. were undecided. So it was a bit of a joke. And, and the problem, and I think I was fourth, fifth in that poll. Yeah. But that's when Leo and, and, and Beck were in. Um, and, and it's kind of frustrating because... So the, you the, could the, be the third main, now with those two gone. Well... If you here's the funny thing, the Courier poll, which is the one that the media have been using, yeah, because um, they don't want to do their own, they just grab that one, yeah, uh, that had me at whatever it was, and the same people who ran the Courier poll did an online poll, and the numbers were were kind of funny, although the media won't touch it because it's online, but they actually asked, who would you like to run against the Fesso, Viv Beck, Wayne Brown, or myself, and I got about eleven hundred votes. Wayne Brown's on twenty three. And Viv, I think, was on 34. Okay. And it's the same people who did the courier. So, Craig, are you going to officially call for Wayne Brown to stand down to give the centre-right a crack at the Auckland Well, he should narrative? do, because he's not, he's, well, he's not, he's not centre-right, is he? He's centre-left. He really is. When you look at, when you listen to what he talks about at all the debates yeah. and, and, and his idea, he's actually a centre-left. Yeah. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. Okay. Are you a member of VFF? You ever been on a VFF website? I'm just Nazi hunting now, Craig. Uh, uh, A what website? A Uh, a VFF, Voices for Freedom. No, no. Okay. Where are you on Three Waters? Three Waters is a stupid idea. Okay, that's a pretty straight up answer. Freedom of speech. Love it. I love freedom of speech. I won't, I I have it, I actually, interesting, I get that a fair bit on the social media, people saying, Look at these comments. You should be moderating and, and removing some of these comments. But my answer is people have the right to say what they want. If they cross the line that I have in my head of hate speech or, or pure racism, the, the comments and the people will be gone. But if someone just wants to air their opinion, they're quite welcome to do so. Yeah. Craig, I have to be honest. I look at people who are happy and well-adjusted and, and have careers that are going okay, and they don't run for local body Politics. You've got to be a bit of a nutter, to be honest. Uh, yeah, what, is it, what is it that's driving you? You know. Well, I, I, I it's quite an in-depth question, really, because there's so much in it. But I just, I love trying to sort things. I'm, I'm kind of one of those. Um, here, let me help, and let me fix it, and let me, I'll get involved. And I'm, I'm the kind that puts your, puts their hand up to do things. And in 2018, it was almost a dare to run in 2019. Yeah, and, and to finish third with with zero media coverage mm. uh, meant that my my messages were right, and I use, I had to use the social media platform to mm. to spread the word, and I still am today, and it's it's very very strong, and and I don't know, I just I just got this thing about look, I'll sort it out, I guess. Craig, are I'll, you Maori? What's your ethnicity? 
Yeah, I am. I'm, I, I actually did the spit test. Um, I'm 39% on Ngāti Dua Nui. That was found out only a few months ago yeah. from Hawara is where I'm from. Um, and the other 61% is, is the mongrel mix of European, Norwegian, Irish, Welsh, all that all kind right. of stuff. But yeah. you do not primarily oh, yeah, campaign yeah. on an ethnic basis. You're just saying, I'm a Kiwi, I'm a New Zealander. A hundred percent. And and when the co-governance question is brought up, which is raised at virtually every debate, I'm very, very straight in my answer is that I, I disagree with co-governance policies. I'll take advice and I'll take guidance from different races, re, uh, creeds and religions and whoever if I need it. Uh, but I firmly be- believe that I'm a New Zealander and an Aucklander and I never push the Maori side. And I, I know the media have done, you know, Collins could be the first Pacifica mayor. And I have never, ever said I'll be the first Māori mayor, and I refuse to do so. I'll, I'm just, a, I'm just a Kiwi, and that's how I've always lived, and how I'll continue to be. All right, um, Craig. What is your vision for Auckland? What are the big policies you might have? And I'll be honest, I look at Auckland local body politics and transport and everything, and after a certain amount of time, my eyes glaze over. Tell me something inspirational, visionary for Auckland that you might do differently than anyone else. Well, well, there's there's really two, three major ones. The first thing is I fully believe that Auckland Council's job is to be a core service provider. That's it. You're a service company. And, and you should not be encroaching into government duties, which means the general social services should be left up to the government. And yep. Auckland Council's role is to serve the people as a core provider. And that's been resonating. Get rid of the rubbish, the keep the lights on, keep the yep. roads clear. You've That's got to make simple. sure the trees are trimmed. Oh, mate, and it doesn't happen. I, like a perfect example is, is the Kumiu floods when council admitted after their review that if they had have maintained the culverts, drains and dredged the river, it's unlikely Kumiu would have flooded. And, and that really annoys me that they've admitted that. That tells me they're not doing their job. They're, they're mucking around wondering where they're going to paint their next road and put their next uh, flower pot or, or cycle lane instead of concentrating on their core duties. So that is... That is primarily my main focus, but you have to link into that the the CCOs, the council controlled organizations. And I've over the last four years, I've done so much research on how they work and, and rung so many people to get the inside knowledge on it. And they are actually fixable. You, you use the two committees that are inside council. They're two very powerful committees, but one of them's been stacked by Phil Goff with his left leaning minions in there, his, his councillors, particular councillors, and he chairs it. There's only seven of them. And there's only one centre-right councillor on that committee. So basically, the CCOs get left to do their own thing. So we clean up those committees. We, we can then clean up the, the CCOs and, and bring those monsters under control. But the most important one that I've, I've been pushing really hard, and, and it's the media don't pick up on it. They don't seem to want to talk about it, but the crowds love it. And I'm glad they do because it means it's right. Is in 2009, when, when that Royal Commission created the, the Super City, they strongly advised that the council, because of the monster it was going to come, should have an independent performance service auditor. And that person can go into any department, do any audit, and will be the ultimate watchdog and whistleblower. And if if things aren't changed when it finds problems, when this role finds a problem or an issue, because they're independent, they can go straight to the public and to the press. Now, the reason that hasn't been instigated, to me, there's only two reasons. One is fear of being found out, and the other one has to be pure arrogance, where the mayor thinks they are so good at what they're doing, they don't need an oversight watchdog. Well, I'm going with what the Royal Commission said, and I'm going to find someone to do that role. And to me, that is a super powerful position where the Auckland public can go, finally, if there's no transparency coming out, we've got an independent auditor in there doing their job and the press will know what's going on and and the councillors executives upper management they should all be very scared of that person wow craig where are you on diversity on rainbow ticks and having every oh. minority represented at everything and no. positive no, action no, no 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 i've got no problem people can live their own lives and choose what they want to do but to me you service the people regardless of who and what they are. So diversity, if you're talking about like on boards or part of groups and panels, be there on merit. Same as co-governance, be there on merit. Don't be there just because you tick a certain box. 
Wow. Craig, when you say the crowds love it, is that like four people at a dinner party? Have you no, actually I'm had talking... any crowds? Mate, the debates have been fantastic. And I'm yep. quite happy to pat myself on the back and say that every debate, Wayne Brown hemorrhages votes and I get them. Because I, I'm I just have to be honest, he didn't person. strike me yesterday as the world's greatest communicator. Well, that's why I, I read a, a little um, uh, blog from um, Mr. Lefty uh, Bomber Bradbury yep. uh, a week ago saying that um, Wayne Brown has had to redo his ads because he's hemorrhaging voters. And he is. He's an absolute yeah. shocker, mate. I'm, I'm not scared to say it. And and the the audiences at all the debates, and I, I've lost count. Well, yeah. We've done over 40 of them, and there's still about eight to go. Um, I, I'm happy to say that I... I take over and I and I get the room and I and they love what I've got to say because I, I play a straight bat. When a question is asked, as you, yeah, I hope you've heard, you ask a question, I give the answer. There's no yeah. waffling and no diversion. That's what the answer is. Okay, we're talking a little bit later to the Free Speech Unit about a survey they've done of local body candidates and their attitudes towards freedom of speech. Would you ever, if you were Mayor of Auckland, use your position to ban or exclude people who you politically disagreed from from using council venues? No. Well, there's no ambiguity in that. What did you think of what uh, the council did or tried to do to um, Southern and Molyneux? It was gutless. Wow. All right. Hmm. Is being uh, mayor of Auckland your only political aspiration or does Craig Lord have dreams of coming to Wellington and making a difference on the national stage? No. And here, here, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I get so many comments on social media saying, look, just forget local body, run for government, find a party, get down to Wellington. I'm like, no, because unless you're a a major portfolio holder, and even then it's dubious, you can't make any change. All you are is a soundbite. And, and look, the Greens are perfect at that, aren't they? Just soundbite after soundbite. You don't achieve anything and you'd be paid a ton of money to do nothing. And I believe I can achieve something for the good of people and local body. I don't think I'll achieve anything down in Central. So okay. Did you I, ever beat I, the I, snot out of anyone at school? Uh, I had my playground fights that you normally do, but I had that big scrap here a couple of months ago that made the press, if you saw that. Oh, no, I didn't. I missed that, Greg. Oh, well, I took on a, um, a drunk driver a, yeah. and I won. So I ended up in hospital. That was quite a big story. Look, Google it up. Craig oh, Lord has yeah, a well, fight. Craig, I'm sorry. Look, my problem is secondary local body candidates. I just avoid them like the plague. You're really lucky to be on yeah. this morning. Um, yeah, but I'm not secondary. That's the frustrating bits, you see, Sean. Yeah, I've I'm hearing you. Massive following. Yeah. Matt, well, okay, you got a massive following. Describe massive yep. following for me. Okay, if you want to talk, say, social media, remember your, your, bestie, your bestie Leo Molloy, he would post up how good his social media platform is, Yeah. and he wouldn't, he wouldn't post me, he'd post the other guys. And the yeah. reason in mine was, mine was larger. Now, it's not all about size, is it? but mine was bigger. My, my, my average reach on social media per month is 250,000. Oh, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad a, at all. It's less than a quarter of the platform. It's... <laughs> And I'm not even running for office, you know. <laughs> That's okay. right. But I know I know who you are, though, Sean. Yeah. Okay, Craig. That, that is interesting, actually. I don't know that Leo's my bestie. Uh, I liked him because he was a colourful Come on, I've, character. Seen the, I've seen the photos of you wearing oh, the yeah. shirt. No, the I've, you've seen the photos of him wearing the platform shirt. I have never worn the Leo Malloy <laughs> shirt, Craig. I'm telling you. All, All right. right. <laughs> so how long we got till polling day? The papers are out there now. Viv Beck's... Uh, yeah. Okay, Viv Beck is, um, oh, geez, are you going to have another crack? Because you're not going to make it this time, are you? Afiso's probably going to win. No. Oh. No. Oh, look, here's Afiso. Uh, look, the feedback, see, <laughs> I'm out there on the streets every day and doing these debates with the, the community groups and yep. business organisations. The cut through for Brown and Collins is not there. Now, the media think it's there, but it's not. Mm. It, it, they're just getting no reach, and I think Viv Beck worked that out. Mm. Uh, finally, and their team said, we're not getting the cut through, but the, they are not getting it. Now, I'm really confident that we are, and and that's a good thing and a positive thing. Um, the polls come out tomorrow, and, I mean, it's frustrating because it'll be another tiny little poll that the, 
mainstream yeah. media will clamp onto, and then the sheeple effect will happen whether it's really accurate well, or not. Well, Craig, so. you now have what we call the platform bump. Yes, the platform and bump. And we will be taking this interview, which I have to say, quite honestly, I've enjoyed immensely, because you have answered questions and you haven't been messing around or been particularly... Uh, I mean, it's been a good yarn. Uh, we will put this up online and share it and see how many people watch it. And you're welcome to take it and put it on your social media as long as it links back to us. So we've done that well, deal now. Yeah, and grow, I suspect, grow, I suspect yeah, we'll get thousands of people. <laughs> I, yeah. I will help grow your audience. And I've got no to time. say, and I'll read some of them out later during the course of the program, but we have had some very, very positive texts through on the 50-50 number about what you have uh, said this morning. And I'll be honest, Craig, my, Mayor Culper, I probably should have done this earlier. And I would like to thank all of your supporters who have been texting me and emailing me and being complete pains up the bottom saying you should talk to Craig Lord. And I think it was well worth it this morning. Thank you. All right. Good luck, Craig. We will talk again. That is Craig Lord, Auckland mayoral candidate. Um, good luck to Craig, says Marlene. We need more people like him. Sean, this guy talks some sense. If I lived in Auckland, I'd vote for him. Good on you for realising the error of your ways and giving him a go at voicing his views. Cheers, Grant. Ah, uh, Sean, what the hell have vaccines got to do, uh, Voices of Freedom got to do with the Auckland mayoralty? Grow a sense of humour. Uh, ask about 40% of rates being spent on funding empty buses, driving ghosts around, put stupid pot plants in place of car parks, simple roading works. OK, you're just raving. You're just raving. This guy would get my vote. I heard nothing about the Rainbow Taliban or Labor, and he can speak clearly, and he has a working phone, and no signs of early onset dementia. Win, win. Well, I have to say, I absolutely couldn't agree more with you. So, Maya Culpa, let's see. Let's see how far up the polls we can get Craig Lord. Oh, complete journalistic impartiality there from me, isn't it?